testify today, okay? I lost somebody I love very much, the police brutality, in October of 2011, in Downey. But I'm not going to talk about Michael Nida right now. I'm going to talk about Anaheim in 2012. I'm going to talk about Martin Hernandez, murdered in the streets, right down the street over here in Anaheim, March 6, 2012. He surrendered to police and was assassinated in the street in full view of his community. His community rose up because they saw what happened to Martin. And the Anaheim Police Department struck down that community. They sent people to jail. They deported people. Anybody who saw what happened to Martin disappeared. The only people who were there to stand up for Martin was his family, was his sister Sonia and her family. That helicopter you see flying up over us right now, that helicopter was flying over Martin Hernandez's funeral. I want you to think about good cops when I'm telling you that. That helicopter was flying over Martin Hernandez's funeral when his mother and his sisters, his aunts, his family and friends were laying him to rest. That helicopter was flying over that funeral, taunting the family, these good cops. were taunting the family of Martin Hernandez, daring them to do something. We were protesting in Anaheim at the time. We fought for Martin and we saw what the cops did. We saw how the cops treat this community, regardless of what hood you're from. Regardless of what hood you're from in here in Anaheim, they treat you all the same. Because in July, there was two more murders. In July of 2012, there were two more murders. Manuel Diaz and Joel Acevedo were murdered back to back on, Ju on July 21st and 22nd. And I'm sure you all know what happened after they killed Manuel Diaz, shot him in the back for running away in front of all his neighbors and friends. Guess what? The community rose up! And they said, fuck these killer cops! And they came out there and told them to their faces, and what did these good cops do? Pedro! They sent a canine into the community. They sent a killer dog to attack women and children. They shot beanbag rounds and pepper balls at the community while Manuel Diaz lay dying in the street. These good cops! The next day, Joel Acevedo surrenders and is shot in handcuffs. And that fact is concealed that night. They plant a gun on Joey and say he drew on a cop. These good cops, they plant weapons. They hide evidence. They lie for each other. Show me a good cop. He would be right here. She would be right here standing with us. You show me a good cop. Until someone has the courage to take a stand and say, I'm not working with these fucking killers anymore. Until someone says, I know what you did to Martin Hernandez. I know what you did to Manuel Diaz. I know what you did to Joey Acevedo, and I'm gonna fucking say something about it. There are no good cops. We are not here to be violent. We are not here to lose control. We are here to be powerful, but we're also here to tell the fucking truth. We are here to testify. And if there's a good cop, he or she can step up right now and say something. Tell me why you're a good cop. Tell me why we should respect you. We do not have to bow. We do not have to respect authority that does not respect us. In 2016, we should not have to be in the street reminding people that black lives matter. Reminding people that brown lives matter. Reminding people that Palestinian lives matter. That Cambodian lives matter. We all know white lives matter. They run this fucking country. You understand what I'm saying? Tell the truth so we can get out of this shit. Fuck that good cop narrative. You can say all cops are bastards and march peacefully and protest peacefully and tell the truth like you're supposed to do. But when the truth is murder, when the truth is corruption, when the truth is lies, tell that fucking truth. Testify. Thank you. Who's next?